What's up, what's up? It's Saucy Rossi, and today I'm going to show you my game day rib recipe. Football's back in season, and being able to have ribs to eat while watching the game is absolutely fantastic. So if you go ahead and follow this recipe, you should end up with delicious ribs that look just like this. And that's what you'll want when you're watching some football. Trust me. A nice and juicy pork rib that easily bites off the bone. It's also got a wonderful barbecue sauce coating and a nice hot honey glaze. So let's get started here. Simply start by trimming off any extra pieces of meat on either the top or bottom. As you can see here on the bottom, there was an extra piece, so I'm simply trimming it off. Next, we're going to go in for that silver skin. You're going to get in there, get underneath, and just kind of pull it off. I have another video that's more in depth on exactly how to remove the silver skin, so if you need more information on that, go check out that video. Next up, we're going to come in with whatever binder you want to use. You can use mustard or hot sauce. Today, I'm using mustard. Uh, actually, to be completely honest, you don't even need a binder if you don't want to. But like I said, today I'm using mustard. And then you're going to go in with whatever dry rub you're using. I'm using a homemade dry rub, specifically for ribs. Uh, maybe I'll share that. Actually, let me know in the comments below. Are you interested in me sharing that dry rub recipe? I'd be happy to if you guys are interested. And get in there with that dry rub. Make sure you're coating all sides of the rack of ribs. That's really important here. It really helps with the flavor on each bite. All right, all right. So now I'm rocking my pit at a temperature of about 275. And it's time for these two racks to get on there. I'm going to be placing these two racks on the far side of my offset smoker, away from the firebox, just to make sure they're not taking the brunt of the heat initially and about halfway through the cook I'll probably switch the furthest one with the other set of ribs just to kind of make sure they're both cooking the same way. So we're about an hour into the cook at this point and I'm taking some apple cider vinegar and giving it a spritz. Now here we are about three hours in and I'm doing the same thing again. It's really important you make sure that these ribs don't dry out while they're getting smoked. They are not the biggest pieces of meat for like thickness, so that can happen. So it's important you spritz them every hour or so. And these ribs are looking like they're ready for a barbecue sauce. So I'm coming in with Earl's Signature Sauces Urban Bourbon Balsamic Hawaiian Barbecue Sauce. It goes absolutely perfect with pork. And I decided to throw it on this set of ribs. So I throw it onto the top. And then I give it a quick flip and go in with another layer of barbecue sauce. Now I'm wrapping up these sets of ribs and I'm going to put them back on the offset smoker. At this point, we're about three hours, 45 minutes, four hours into the cook. And we're going to put them back on the smoker for about an hour and 20 minutes or so. So again, we're cooking them on the smoker initially for about four hours roughly, a little bit less maybe. Then we're gonna take them off, wrap them in this paper, and put them on for an additional hour and 20 minutes wrapped. So by doing this, what it's gonna do is it's gonna let the cook kind of break down the meat a little bit better and make it more fall off the bone and just tender. So wrapping it in butcher's paper is always a great decision. You can also use tin foil for this method as well. Tin foil does do a great result. Some people are a little bit concerned about using that method, but I've done it as well and it usually turns out great. So again, we're gonna go back in with our Urban Bourbon Balsamic Hawaiian Barbecue Sauce by Earl's Signature Sauces. And we're gonna dab that all over each of these sets of ribs really get a nice layer on there again. And we're gonna let the smoke tack that up. So at this point, we're about five hours and 15 minutes into the cook. That's when I unwrap these and I'm gonna set them on the offset smoker for about 45 more minutes. That's gonna let our sauce tack up, just kind of finish off the cook. All right, all right, it's time to pull these off. Let's give them one last look on the offset smoker. And these things are looking perfect. This is exactly how I wanted that sauce to tack up on there. Just loving it. I can't wait to pull these off and dive in. 
So here I am pulling them off, and I'm actually thinking to myself, you know, it might be fun to try a hot honey glaze on these ribs. You know, the sauce tacked on perfectly. These are looking delicious, but I picked up this hot honey from the Halifax Honey Company, and I thought I'd give it a try. So I decided to give just a light layer across each of these racks of ribs and kind of brush it in. It made a wonderful gloss on there. It looks absolutely fantastic. It looks wicked zigzagged on there like this too. But like, oh, just both of these. I'm dro Listen to me, I'm tripping on words. I'm drooling over here. I'm practically wanting to bite my iPad as I record this audio. Holy cow. But like I said, I decided to brush this on. So I grabbed my brush and lightly spread it about. And the gloss, oh man, it just started glistening. I really enjoy it when a rib has a nice sheen like this. It's really appealing to me. So here I am giving it the quick rib test. You know, can you hold it up? Can you shake it? Will it fall apart? And they both passed the test. I was pretty happy about that. So I decided to cut into them to see the result. I was looking for a smoke ring to make sure things were cooked properly. And that's what I got here. A nice glazed rib, delicious layer of barbecue sauce, a nice smoke ring on there from the maple wood that I used, sourced out of Nova Scotia. Actually, oh snap, now that I think about it, the barbecue sauce is based out of Nova Scotia, the hot honey is based out of Nova Scotia, and the wood that I used to smoke the rack of ribs is based out of Nova Scotia. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So again, we're going to check the other rack of ribs. Again, we're looking for a nice tacked on layer of barbecue sauce, a nice shine from that hot honey on the top, looking for the edge to have a nice little smoke ring built on there. And yeah, just a nice bite all around. And that's what I got here exactly what I was looking for. So I decided to cut it up and plate it up so that I could go watch some football. The Baltimore Ravens are playing Kansas City tonight and I'm just excited to watch the game. And to have a snack like this while watching the game makes it even better. I mean, check that out. Doesn't this look delicious? I'm pretty proud of the result here. Ribs aren't that hard to cook. It's pretty straightforward. You just kind of have to get your timing right. So again, what I did was I put these ribs on the smoker. I used maple wood to smoke them. I really enjoy the light sugary taste it kind of adds with that smoke flavor. I put them on for about three hours, 45 minutes to four hours. I then took them off. I wrapped them, cooked them for another hour and 20 minutes. Then I unwrapped them and finished them off for an additional 45 minutes. And this was the dinner I ended up with. Absolutely delicious. Ribs, potato wedges, cherry tomatoes, some white bread, and of course, some barbecue baked beans. Make sure you like and subscribe if you think this meal looks delicious, if you enjoyed this recipe, and thanks again for watching my video. Take care and have a great day.